Hi, welcome to the Mule Fold tutorial. This is Akash. So in this video, we'll discuss about the installation of the Mule Studio. That is Studio 7 we're gonna install and we're gonna work with the Mule 4. So after 3.9, MuleSoft released the version 4, Mule 4. So that has many different capabilities which are very useful. So first we'll install Mule 4. So to install Mule 4, you need to go to Google and search any point studio download this will redirect me to the mulesoft.com studio and here you can see download any point studio 7 with mule 4 if you want to download a previous version you can download it from here but now i'm using mule 4 so i will go and select my operating system will select my 64 bit let's say it's engineering phone number is something 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 I want to give I will click on agree and download this so before downloading this you need to set up JDK 1.8 on your local to download JDK just click over here this will redirect me to the oracle.com where I can download the JDK click on accept license agreement and according to your operating system you can download the JDK right now I'm using Windows 64 bit so I will use this once I downloaded the JDK path exe file, after installing that exe file, I got created. I will have one inside C drive program files. I'll have one Java where I have JDK 1.8. So this JDK, we're going to use it in our whole session. So after installing JDK, you need to set up the environment variable. So just right click on your my computer if you're using Windows, click on properties, then go to advanced system settings, go to environment variables, then here you need to set Java underscore home with your JDK path. Also, you need to set up this path variable and uh, you need to give your JDK slash bin path. After clicking OK, OK, everything looks good. Now once you downloaded and installed JDK, you need to install that MuleSoft Studio. So you will get uh, this type of zip file that would be around uh, 1.5 GB. You need to extract this, you will get this folder. So this is our Mule 4, Studio 7. So sometimes you will face some issue regarding that the Java is not found and all. So what you need to do is you need to edit this anypointstudio.ini file. Just will open in Notepad++. Here you need to add this path, VM argument. So this is basically a Java virtual machine. We need to give the path of Java w.exe file. So here it is slash VM and that should be before the VM args. So VMs, then uh, our path. So it's in program file, so we should not use any spaces. So I'll use program tilt one, Java JDK 1.8 bin and Java w.exe. After, after doing all this stuff, we can directly launch our application from any point studio. So this will look like this. So now what we'll do is what we'll create one small project on any point studio and we'll see, we'll go and create Mule project. This is similar to Mule 3 for now, but there is one thing you need to notice. Like here, you cannot see Mavenize, Mavenization because all the project in Mule 4 are by default Mavenized. So here, you need to write my first proj. I will click on finish. This will create from my project. Here you can see that this is my XML file and here there is no API file because APIs are now in resources. So here you need to create a RML. If you remember we have in Mule 3 we have SRC main, main API. Now we have SRC main resources inside that we have API. Rest of the things are similar. Now you can see there's a pom.xml. So out of the box, MuleSoft provides the pom.xml that is Mavenize function. So if you know Maven, you can understand this thing. Even if you don't know the Maven, then MuleSoft will automatically do the stuff over here. 
So quickly we'll create one new program, we'll API. What we'll do, we'll drag one HTTP. So in Mule 3, we have HTTP. In Mule 4, we have listener and request for two different connectors. So I will drag one listener connector and I will configure this connector. I'll click on plus and uh, for local host it's 0 .0 .0 .0. I will use 8081 I will say ok path I want like test save it now I will drag one logger and I will write yippee first prog program cool I will save this so few things we got uh, to new here is uh, in previous mule 3 if you want to go and search on XML you need to go and directly search it over here but if the XML is pretty big it's quite difficult to search the things over here connector but in mule 4 just click on the connector can go to go to XML this will transfer my cursor to the particular particular you can say the connector XML I'll say message I will save this so so this is a simple program which we just now created so we'll try to run this So as you can see, it is uh, automatically memorized. It will do all that added, all adding all the dependencies or plugins which are required. And this is launching V and JVM now. So we are deploying our application on local basically. And many new things came to Mule came in Mule 4, so just be prepared for a few new things which we'll encounter in next next lectures and all. So there are very like uh, we had totally new exception handling now in Mule 4. So just deployed. I will try to run this localhost 881. or localhost 881 slash test. Okay, we ran this and now we have YP first program. So in this way we can install Mule 4 and Edge Studio 7 on our local and we can build our APIs. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.